So anyways, give the complete electron configuration of each element. So the first one is beryllium. So can you guys help me with that one? So what, how would it be? 1s2. 2s2. 2s2. That's it, right? Um, nitrogen? Uh, 1s2. 1s2. 2s2. 2s2. And a 2p3. 2p3. Very good. Okay. And sodium. 1s2. Are these on your PowerPoint? Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah, this is my PowerPoint. I, like I said, I didn't get anything, and so we're just doing what I got. 2s2. 2p6. 3s1. Okay. So now let's convert these to the condensed electron configuration or noble gas can electron configuration. Is it just a complete set? Pardon? Is it just a complete piece set? So no. So in some cases, uh, so wait, you're talking about making the ion, right? Is what you're talking about. Let's just do the noble gas configuration. Okay, I promise you I know what I'm talking about. I've done this before. Okay, so beryllium, what's the noble gas before that? Helium. Helium. So how do we write? H. 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 In a bracket. Okay? And then what do we do? Write the valence electrons. 2s2. Okay? So if you're talking about wanting to make the ion, right, what's beryllium's common ion? Come on, guys. Right? Be two plus, you would expect it to be, right? Why? Because it's got these two valence electrons, so they get lost. Everybody okay with that? Yeah. And so the noble gas electron configuration for the ion is helium. Okay? So let's do the same for nitrogen. What would be the condensed electron configuration? Helium, start there. And then 2s2, 2p3. What's the common ion for nitrogen? And 3 minus, right? Right? And 3 minus. Uh, so, what's the deal with the common ions? Why are we writing this? Because you're eventually going to have to do them in chapter 6 oh. anyway, so let's just do them right now. Okay. Yeah, we'll just do a full problem with them, okay? So, should we, I don't think we need to write the full electron configuration. Should we write the full electron configuration for this ion? Let's, let's just write it, okay? Let's just write it. So, it's going to be the same as this thing here, plus what? Three more electrons, right? So, what is it going to be? 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, right? So what's the noble gas electron configuration for that? Neon. Wait, why are you adding three? I'm confused. Why would you add three? Because you add three more electrons. Because you add three because electrons are these numbers here. Right? And so if we have this, what does that mean? We've added three more electrons. Who am I talking to? Somebody over here. You. Okay. So sorry, I was turned around to them. So we have three more electrons here, we've got to add three more electrons here, because this is the what? Electron configuration, right? Okay, so when we do that, we get up to the noble gas neon. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay. So sodium, what's the noble gas configuration for sodium? Neon. Come on, help me out over here, somebody. Neon. Neon. Is that it? 3s1. Okay, everybody cool with that one? What's the common ion for sodium? And a plus. Okay, and so what would be the condensed electron configuration for Na plus? The condensed electron configuration. The condensed electron configuration. Oh, noble gas can electron configuration. Neon. Okay. Do you make, does that make sense? Okay. So, if I asked you, are any of these ions isoelectronic? Do you guys know what that means, isoelectronic? So, isoelectronic means the same electron configuration as. Okay? So, do any of these ions have the same electron configuration as each other? And 
3 minus and what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Na plus, right? No, <laughs> they both have neon as their electron configuration, right? But Na plus and N3 minus are two ions that are isoelectronic. Does that make sense? At least placate me and say, yes, this makes sense, if it makes sense, okay? So, and are any of them isoelectronic? Yes. Those two, okay? And isoelectronic, if you want to know how to spell it. So, um, are we cool with this one? 